HG Live 20.7 presents the world this week. Hello there, welcome to a special edition of News Bulletin The World This Week today on 3rd November, Sunday 2024. Let's check out the global news now. Ahead of US presidential poll on ensuring Saturday, that is on 5th November 2024, with Republican candidate Donald Trump investing heavily in North Carolina in the last days of the race, but out of Michigan, where some Arab American residents are bucking traditional voting trends out of frustration with US support for Israel. Democratic presidential nominee Kamala Harris made an appearance on the sketch comedy series Saturday night live in New York City. Long Alongside the actor who portrays her on the program, Maya Rudolph. It was the latest in a continuing streak of celebrity crossovers for Harris, who rallied earlier in the day in Charlotte, North Carolina, with rock star John Bon Jovi and R&B singer-songwriter Khalid. Republican candidate Donald Trump, meanwhile, was squeezed a rally in blue-leaning Virginia between two events in neighboring North Carolina. It was the start of a streak for Trump in North Carolina, where he will be campaigning until Election Day. Trump used his evening rally in Greensboro, North Carolina, to take credit for declining trust in U.S. media, and he tailored his anti-immigrant message to non-white communities in the U.S., saying, they could become majority migrant. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. meanwhile suggested Trump had agreed with his proposal to remove fluoride in a compound used to strengthen teeth from tap water in the U.S. A startling new poll from the Des Moines Register meanwhile suggested Trump could be slipping in the Republican stronghold of Iowa. Its results showed Harris taking the lead. According to the election lab at the University of Florida, which monitors voting data nationwide, over 35 million Americans have already voted. This total comprises nearly 41 million early in-person votes and more than 34 million males in ballots returned. Meanwhile, Kamala Harris holds a narrow lead over Trump in Iowa, and with polls showing her at 47% to Trump's 44%, highlighting a competitive race in this traditional Republican state. The Trump campaign is particularly concerned about North Carolina, a state he previously won, but now faces challenges in securing. She also called Trump mentally unstable and obsessed with revenge. Election night will see results unfold as polls closed from east to west. Early voting and pre-processed mail-in ballots could allow up to 47% of Georgia's votes to be counted by 8 p.m. A losing North Carolina could significantly hinder Trump's path to the necessary 270 electoral votes for re-election. Indian origin Democratic leader Neil Makija criticized Donald Trump, stating he was fired by 80 million Americans in 2020 and remains untrusted. Makija, overseeing Kamala Harris' Pennsylvania campaign, emphasized the historic potential of Harris becoming the first woman president. He highlighted issues like education and opportunity for Indian Americans and criticized Trump's immigration stance. Makija praised Harris for representing diverse communities and noted the tight presidential race with Harris leading in Michigan and uh, wins counting and tied with Trump in Pennsylvania. Over 62 million early votes have been cast. America to Agatala, Global News Platform. Global politics, diplomacy, economy, education, health, culture, sports, international affairs, global turbulence, news from space, curiosity on aliens, UFO, etc., war and war effects on global economy. Sensex, share market, global tourism, global technology, artificial intelligence, and next. You are watching HD Live 24-7 on YouTube, Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, Telegram, Twitter, etc. Fashion, fair, future, and lot more. The world this week.